ROM. ROM is read only memory and uh, in logism we have to go to the memory and here we will have the ROM. And here let's uh, look at a 4 by 4 bit ROM. I'm going to make this one 4 bit and make it 4 bit. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And then uh, I'm going to put a random number generator. And connect that one with this and make sure the random number generator also for a bit. And then uh, we are going to get the output from this to YYT, actually TTY, my mistake, TTY and then uh, TTY is uh, ASCII code printer like it prints out ASCII code values. So ASCII codes are seven bits and this one is four bit. So we had to use a bit extender to make the four bit into a seven bit. So I'm gonna use a bit extender. Right here. And the input is four. Output is seven. The input comes come from the ROM, and the output goes here. Okay, now we have this, and then we are going to connect a clock to this. And to this. <clears throat> now the next thing is uh, what you have to do is we have to type some values in ROM. Uh, to type some values we go to the contents and click here. And these are like hexadecimal values. You can type from 0 to F. So let's put some random numbers. Okay. Now control K for the clock to tick. Now the clock is ticking but nothing is printing. It may be because I have I have to select this uh, this is a bit text gender mm, accent and type Okay, you know what let me Put it again. Four to seven, and I'm going to make this one one. Type one, and this one uh, should be seven. Okay, now let's run it again. Now it's working perfectly. I had to just make this one extension type one. Okay, now this one is working perfectly. So this is 4-bit ROM. Now you can do that with 8-bit ROM or any bit you want. Now to change that, we have to just change this into 8-bit, 8-bit, and also this one random number generator to 8-bit. And now uh, also this one from 8 to 7. Now, what you can do is, like here we are going to have a whole lot of numbers. If I make it big, you can see we, we will have a bunch of numbers to type. <clears throat> make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So here, I, again, this is uh, hexadecimal. So we can put anything we want. Okay. So again, same process. 
clock tick and it's gonna do some random printings of ASCII code values and that's basically it i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you guys on my next video